Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to Creating with Wendy. I thought I'd come on and do a little video making some pockets. I haven't made a video for a little while and I'm still actually in the process of making this lap book and I wanted to put a few more little elements in it before I put the cover on it and finish it up. So I've actually been inspired by Camellia, Camellia Crafts Designs and Liz the Paper Project here on YouTube. They have been making some three pockets out of like one sheet of paper and I really really liked it so I actually ended up making four pockets with just this so I'm going to show you how to do it I might use this one first because I want that color that one there in the, in the journal um, Okay, so this here, it's a 12 by 6 and you can use any size um, piece of paper that you want. You can use 12 by 12 and make a really wide one. You can use, you know, um, 8 by 12 and have it a bit thinner. These ones here, I just thought were a really nice size. So it's 6 by 12 and all you have to do is make sure you're in shot Wendy I'll just come out a bit guys let's see that might be a bit better I've got two pieces of paper here um, all you have to do is on your long side just fold that over so that you get the both edges together nicely and just use your bone folder and burnish down that so you get a nice crisp edge um, and then you've got to work out if you want your your main pocket opening on the right hand side or the left hand side so with this one I'm actually going to have mine open on the left hand side because I want to attach it in my journal that way okay and then you just fold up the bottom and I'm going to fold that about three inches up which is about seven and a half centimeters and then I'm going to fold that down like that so you fold the bottom up once you folded it in half and then you just fold the top down so that you've just got like a little um, covering of about half an inch at the top and I'm just going to just gently press that down there so that's more or less all it is okay that opens up there that opens up there um, now with the bottom uh, to take a bit of the bulk out I'm actually going to cut this square um, cut it out okay so I'm just going to follow the fold line and cut that right up to my my fold there and then with this one here where the fold is I just go about an eighth of an inch longer just so that there's no bulk for when you actually um, fold this one here so this part here doesn't interfere with that fold there okay so that's your first pocket there and then with this part here I will just snip that fold off okay that can then I might turn around that way 
that can then be placed in there for another pocket okay so what I'm going to do now um, that's more or less it besides some gluing and just taking out a few little thumb notches so on your long side where you want your pocket I've just taken out a little thumb notch there okay and then this one up here um, the girls both glued those together and then folded it down but I'm actually I actually made mine into another pocket so I put made just a little thumb notch up there okay and now we're just right to glue everything in together so I'm going to glue this top part up first and all I did for that was I'm going to fold that down and make this sorry guys I'm just going to put a nice crease in that fold up there now okay and then just open it back out and I just run some glue along that fold there and just a bit of glue up there and then you can press those two together this is more or less just a basic one alright so then with those glued there you've got this nice little pocket in there now with this one down here that gets folded up I'm going to make another pocket just about there but I do want to ink that first A bit of ink around there okay so I'm going to have that as two pockets there'll be one there and one just there so all I do to make that is come up about uh, three quarters of an inch from the bottom fold and put some glue on either side so that's going to attach our second pocket just like that and then you can just whoops and just let it fall off no you can't <laughs> so that's going to glue our second pocket in make sure it's straight Wendy it's a little bit crooked sorry guys shall try again that's better okay so we've got that that pocket just there done and then I'm just going to put some glue down on either side all the way down to the fold just like that and you don't really need to glue up there you can if you want to okay and just press that down there okay so that's more or less it that's how easy that is right so when you open it up there I will have a pocket there I will have a pocket there a pocket there and then a nice big pocket on this side here okay so what I did um, forget to tell you that was just more or less the folding for it I'll do this other one now and if you want a closure on it like I'm going to use this one here um, I'm just going to put uh, the velcro on the inside just to keep that closed okay and then you can like decorate it however you want but for this one here I'm just going to use velcro but if you want to use um, another closure I'll just show you that now okay and there was another thing I'm not worrying about um, the way my pattern went with this one because I know that I was going to 
cover most of that pattern up so you're not going to notice the writing is a bit upside down okay but this one here my pattern goes up that way so I'm just going to turn that over um, turn it upside down and I'm going to do exactly the same so just line up those two sides there and of course it's going to go crooked on me and just press down for a really nice firm fold and then we'll do the same this time I'll do I'll have the pocket coming at the back from the right hand side so I'm just going to fold that up there at the bottom I just kind of like eyeball and see what size pocket looks nice for me okay and then we'll fold this down here so we've just got a little about half an inch to three quarters of an inch and I shall just press that down may as well press it all the way okay so that's going to be my little um, pocket pouch so with this one here I open that back out I'm going to cut this square out here so that this bottom one will still be attached with the fold and it'll fold up nicely so I shall cut that out now and then on this fold here where this fold is here I'm just going to cut about an eighth of an inch longer if I can see the fold there we go okay so that goes up like that and then I've got this one here I might cut that off and then I've got this piece here that can go inside there for a pocket but before I do any gluing or put the gluing down I'll show you how to make the little um, the closure for it if you want the little circle type closure I've got some let me see I've got here we go there that'll do um, this is a half inch circle punch so I'm just going to press out one two three four there's so many different closures that you can use for this okay one two three and the fourth one always gets stuck in there which I don't know why <laughs> so I'm going to glue two of those together and that's just to make them a little bit stronger okay so there's my first two circles glued together and second two circles glued together okay so we've got those and I'm going to use I'm just going to use brads guys but you could use eyelets as well okay I'm just grabbing my little board that I can press onto and my pokey tool And I was trying to find oh there it is just put that in I've been good at remembering to put this needle back in there thank you Janet for that that was wonderful okay so on we've got our thingo on this flap here um, you're just going to work out where you want to place your little closure so I'm going to put one about there and 
I might put one down a bit further, down about there, okay? So I'm just going to mark it roughly with an X, just so that I've got like a straight line for both of them. And then we can... Sorry guys, you won't be seeing what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to open this up now so that it's flat and put that just about there, poke a hole through it, okay, and grab my bread, open that up, and just give that a nice squish down. Um, now if you wanted to cover that um, you could just put like a little bit of tape over it but I'm not going to really worry about that at the moment okay. it's going to go there right now I'll put do the hole for this one up here now with this one I'm just thinking that I might glue those two together first so I'm just going to Put a little bit of glue along that fold there. Oh, I haven't punched my holes, have I? Hang on, guys. <laughs> right, punch a hole first, or a thumb notch. One there. And one on that side there. Because that's the back there. Now I can put my glue on. It's just easier to punch those thumb notches before you glue anything down okay so then that can be glued down there all right so that's the top pocket and then I'm just going to flip that over where I've put my little X for my next circle wherever my circle is oh up here okay I'm just going to place that on there punch a hole right through my circles as well as both of my papers up the top and put that in like that open that up and just press those down okay so there is that and that there and on this one here I might actually round the edges there And there. So I've just rounded the edges at the top there. I'm just going to press that, make that a little bit firmer, that fold. Okay, and now it's just a matter of putting on your bottom pocket. So just going to put a little bit of glue about an inch from the fold at the bottom like that and I've got this one here that I can place on there like that and then put glue all the way down right to the fold and that makes our two pockets there okay so we just fold that back up there like that and look you can go and ink around your edges and everything like that I just didn't do it here and then we'll just grab a little bit of twine which I thought I had on my table but it's just right here near me okay 
and we'll just work that up a little bit around there and I'm just going to just tie a knot with that string wrapped around that brad up the top underneath the circle so I just tie a couple of little knots there and we get the scissors and just snip that excess bit on that side there and work that one up a bit and then you can just close your pocket just like that and they're ready to decorate however you want okay they're pretty cool envelopes they really are and they're like so easy said before, to make you can make it with any size paper at all so I'll just pack that up a bit of my rubbish here and I shall bring on the ones and just show you that I have done because I kind of like made a few <laughs> well if you're going to make one you've got to make more don't you <laughs> okay so this one here is a left side one so and I've just um, put a little dangle I've started to put some little um, charms on the bottom so that gets lifted up like that and you're going to put a tag in that pocket there. I haven't decorated As the you tags can see yet here. here. I've just punched in an eyelet and made it pretty close to the bottom of that top flap. So you can do that. And then there's a tag for that pocket there and a tag for that pocket there. And this here has got just one of the little circles and then there is also a tag placed in the back pocket so that's four pockets um, like I said I used the inspiration from those two crafters they didn't put the pocket in up the top they just left that plain which you know I really like the idea of as well so it's really up to you but I thought you know you got the space there why not make another pocket and I really love how they turned out um, this one here is another one uh, this one I've just put one of the little clasps on there or latches and I've just used a longer piece of twine, uh, of twine. so you've got pocket in there you've got your two pockets there and then you have the pocket here at the back and this just wraps around once and then I just wrap it around the little circle a couple of times this one here is more or less the same as what I've just done with that one so there's a nice pocket there a couple of pockets there and then the pocket at the back for a tag these are so cool I really enjoy doing these that one um, that was the one I've just done this one here I haven't put a little dangle on it yet but this one Just the same pocket up there two pockets there and another pocket at the back I haven't finished decorating this one but this one here I've just wrapped around once and just looped it around the circle I've started doing a bit of stamping on this one um, and the same with this one here it's just the same as that one now this one here was actually an A4 size um, piece of craft paper 
So we've got the the pocket in the back and then we have we open that up there and we have a pocket up here. I used um, well that's a bit hard. I used one of my dies, uh, the honeycomb, and I cut that out before I actually glued it all together. Okay, so just so that it's something a little bit different. So I done it up on this corner here and done the same down on this. This one's only got one pocket in it. Uh, but I didn't really want to put two pockets in this one uh, because I wanted the the honeycomb pattern to be noticeable. Okay, and I've just done some stamping there. And this one here, this closure, the top flap just folds in down underneath that one there. And then I also have, I've made like a little belly band here on the back of it like that so yeah that's those guys so thank you very much Camellia Craft Designs and Liz the Paper Project for the inspiration to make these little four four pockets inspired for oh, well I've made four pockets out of mine um, and that one there is going to have a little bit of Velcro on it. Okay, so yeah, that's it guys. Go and make some for yourself to put in your journals. Or you could even just make them and put in, you know, ATC at the back or some Happy Mail. Some of that in there. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of those. And I'm really looking forward, especially this one here. I love the craft paper. So this is the actual one I'm going to put in my journal, but I think I might put a couple more of these bluey ones in there as well, in my lap book. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks very much. Let me know down below what you thought and if you're going to go and make some for yourself. You all have a great day. And I'm going to get back to cleaning now. I had to stop and do something crafty today. <laughs> Public holiday here. Alright, you have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye guys.